so ipm english we had a question paper of about 40 examples and uh, you had about 30 minutes to complete it how was it were we able to do it on time was it easy to solve how many questions could we attempt right the most important thing here is that you need to uh, be able to score good amount of marks because in IPM what happens the paper is not difficult the maths portion uh, people concentrate a lot on people focus a lot on the mathematics portion because of which uh, they are able to clear the cutoff but in English many people assume that English can be easily uh, cleared without any practice so even when the English paper section turns out to be easy because students have not practiced enough they don't manage to clear the cutoff and IPM is one paper where you need to get a minimum cutoff score in maths and English both sections to qualify for the next round so it's not as if the overall score matters you need to get the minimum required marks in both the sections and the minimum cutoff is it varies every year depending on the toughness level of the paper so let's see how many questions we were able to get correctly in this particular thing and uh, what could have been a good score as usual we will use the plus four for a right answer minus one for a wrong answer and zero for not attempted right because that's the marking scheme which uh, IPM usually follows so having said that let's take a look at the questions the first set of questions right the first three questions where words where you have to choose the opposite of the given word you have to be very careful in reading the instructions here the instruction very clearly says that you have to identify the opposite of the given word so if you have to select the opposite of the given word then uh, if you man if you if you end up marking the synonyms of the word then you are in trouble right so you're not supposed to be marking the synonyms of any word you'll be supposed to be marking the antonyms for these words so let's take a look at the answers first one audacity right audacity is teri jurrat kaise hui ye cheez karne ki so audacity is when they have uh, audacity is when a person is too uh, bindas so the opposite to that will be cowardice so for the first one the option is definitely a uh, the op option is definitely b right for the first one the option answer option is definitely b cowardice did everybody get that now for the second one indolence when somebody is when somebody is relaxed and not caring koi fark nahi padta hai then indolence and when somebody is very very excited about doing something and uh, immediately atur rehta hai that is the opposite so for that we take a look at the word alacrity so for indolence the word that opposite i'm looking for is alacrity and the next the third one to la la means if somebody is frightened and you try to tell them don't be frightened you are trying to reduce the effect of something bad that is to la so the opposite is kisi cheez ko zyada karna bhadkana that is to aggravate so for one b for the second one a and for the third one b pretty simple the first three examples right the first three antonyms the only mistake you could have made is if you did not read the instructions carefully then you might have got it wrong but if you have read the instructions carefully that you have to mark the opposite of the given words then you will easily identify that the antonyms of the three words are as marked and they are the answers right Chal. so moving ahead to the next set of questions then moving ahead to the next set of questions questions four to six in these questions i have to identify the word which best expresses the meaning of the word so meanings almost like synonyms to be flummoxed means to be confused right so the best option from the given options is to be perplexed it literally means to be confused so for flummoxed option d perplexed antidote right right now we are facing a situation where we require the antidote for the coronavirus so antidote is a remedy right 
एंटीडोट इज अ मेडिसिन अ रेमेडी फॉर समथिंग अ क्योर फॉर समथिंग एंड समथिंग विच इज पग्नेशियस समथिंग लाइक द छोटे छोटे कुत्ते होते हैं दो काटने के दौड़ते ऑलवेज वॉन्ट टू फाइट राइट सो बेलिजरेंट बेलिजरेंट और वॉर लाइक समथिंग विच ऑलवेज वॉन्ट्स टू फाइट सो ऑप्शन डी वॉज सी 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 सॉरी सो ऑप्शन सी राइट सो फॉर फ्लमक्सड वी हैव परप्लेक्सड for antidote the meaning similar word is remedy and for pugnacious the answer is belligerent something which always wants to fight again pretty simple uh, right you could have got at least 2 out of 3 in these at least 2 out of 3 you could have got in this so then moving on quickly to the next set for questions 7 to 11 Each sentence has two blanks. Each blank indicating something has been omitted, and there are four-lettered words or set of words. Choose the word or set of words for each blank that best fits the meaning of the sentence as a whole. Right? So double fillers. These are known as right fill in the blanks. So for the first one, he was scarcely in his teens when he became completely dashed by German dash and writings of Shakespeare. So. you completely dash you are not harassed you or seized you could either be captivated or enamored so he became completely captivated by german scholars and writings of shakespeare uh, or can i say he became completely enamored by german scholars and writings of say shakespeare well captivated if enamored was not given captivated would have been a good option but enamored to be and completely charmed by something right because we are talking about something positive so rather than captivated enamored is actually a better option because it is positive so for the seventh one rather b is not wrong but c is a better option b being captivated is not wrong but when you are talking about something which is positive using the word enamored is better than using the word captivated and hence c will be given the answer marks for this Eighth one, many aspirants, according to an opinion, are dash about the electronic voting system, despite the authorities dash that it will be a smooth fair. So, despite the authorities are saying that it will be smooth, but despite that means the aspirants are having a negative view about it. So, pessimistic and assurance. Many aspirants, according to an opinion, are pessimistic about the electronic voting system. despite the authorities assurance that it will be a smooth fair it should be a smooth affair but smooth fair so shashwat yes only one answer is usually mark acceptable as correct so if you mark b it will be taken as the wrong answer because c is the better option you will not you will lose marks if you mark b as the answer in the seventh question you will get marks only for c right okay chalo now somebody is asking me what is the Uh, if i mark b as the answer in seventh one will that be given marks no like i said right unless they allow more than one answer you will not get marks for marking something which is not as good as the correct one so like i said if c is better than b then definitely c has to be given as the marks okay what is the meaning of prevarication prevarication is a deviation from the truth to prevaricate is to deviate from the truth if somebody is speaking a truth and somebody is going away from it to prevaricate means to go away from truth so prevarication is moving away from what is correct or what is true we get that or prevaricating prevarication is basically lying so moving away from truth it in very simple words i will say prevarication is lying jhoot bolna right yashvi he was scarcely in, he became completely enamored by german scholars and writings of shakespeare they are talking about a person getting fascinated see what is shakespeare shakespeare writings of shakespeare that is scholarly material right so military nahi aayega right and literature ke sath seized ka matlab nahi hai so between b and c if you are talking about a positive thing then it has to be enamored not captivated enamored is much better than captivated captain any bandi banana to be enamored means to be charmed by something so enamored is a better word there 
right okay ninth one rehan ninth one rehan dash to resign because all his proposals were dashed down by his superior so you don't begin begin to resign you either resign or you don't resign rehan suspicious to resign dejected to resign grammatically doesn't make sense but the best option rehan threatened to resign because all his proposals were turned down by his superiors this definitely makes sense so ninth one very easy has to be one tenth one the security forces fired the dash who was armed to the dash you are armed to the what you are armed to the teeth right it technically should be the security forces fired at the decoit who was armed to the teeth armed to the teeth is an idiom so 10th one a should be my answer for 10th one a should be my answer right armed to the teeth it's actually an idiom when you're when you're carrying a lot of weapons right bandukon se less so you're armed to the teeth so that itself helps you identify the first one anyone is okay but the second one because armed to the teeth so a only makes sense 11th one the society members cannot dash such a or an act of violence so you if it's violence what you cannot do you cannot pardon it right now tolerate bhi ho sakta tha the society members cannot tolerate but then it is not a dull act of violence right an act of violence is not dull egregious something which is unacceptable egregious is something which is unacceptable so 11th one a has to be my answer right for 11th one also a has to be my answer did you get it 7 to 11 did everybody get 7 to 11 number in 10th if i put culprit or criminal the second blank who was armed to the nail or toe doesn't make any sense right first ke liye to ab dacoit culprit criminal thief kuch bhi dalo lekin second part match hona chahiye na and that's why the first option is the answer right the first one is the answer because the second blank can only be filled by the word teeth okay so this was also pretty simple fill in the blanks at least two we could have got out of three now 12 to 15 our reading comprehension passage how was the passage reading comprehension passage let's quickly do it today we speak a lot about women's empowerment more than 100 years ago young wandering sanyasi noted that the condition of women all over india was deplorable deplorable means pathetic swami vivekananda noticed that the sorrows of women were mainly due to illiteracy they simply bowed to karma he dreamt of the day he could change the state of affairs and give them a new deal he posited a tremendous spiritual victory over the western consciousness by opening his epoch making chicago address with sisters and brothers of america women had been given the pride of place even in the west and it promised a brighter future interesting enough even before he spoke in the parliament of religions he was giving giving talks in breezy meadows massachusetts and one of them was to the inmates of sherborn reformatory a prison for women he spoke highly of indian women and their heroic past but he was also looking around for ideas to improve their present condition was there any hope for the poor women of the land condemned to illiteracy lifelong drudgery and misuse in a male chauvinistic society this self confidence exuded by the american women made him realize that education held the key hadn't he seen his sister commit suicide a victim of sure obscurantism at the same time on watching american women closely vivekanand understood that indian women should not go in for mindless westernization speaking to a new york audience he boldly said i should very much like our women to have your intellectuality but not if it must be at the cost of purity he never liked the idea of men playing compliments to women and would not accept it as a mere pleasantry are women no more than lovely dolls now the ideal women in india is the mother the mother first and the mother last the word women calls up to the mind of the hindu motherhood and god is called mother he said at a lecture in california in 1900 at the same time unless the mother was educated and self confident how could she be an ideal mother that was why vikanand thought 
about empowering women in India in a big way. Now, born free, he found her everywhere in chains. Even the richest women from the most enlightened community bowed to societal pressures in many ways. Obviously, the fight had to be two-pronged. On one end, it was the duty of the enlightened people in the community to reject obscurantism like child marriage and the treatment of widows. Writing down Smriti and binding them by hard rules, the men have turned women into mere manufacturing machines, he had pointed out. Okay. Now, what is the meaning of the word obscurantism? It has been used twice. The word obscurantism, it has been used twice. What does it mean? Now, the first time it is used, it may not be easy to understand. But look at the way it has been used the second time. To reject obscurantism like child marriage and treatment of widows. So just by looking at the context, can you identify what can be the word just by looking at the context can you understand the constant so obscurantism outdated practices or wrong practices see the word obscure means something which is less understood right to make something obscure is to try to suppress something to prevent something from being known but here obscurantism if you take a look at the sentence it says obscurantism like child marriage and treatment of widows so it has something to do with practices which are no longer mainstream or which are no longer acceptable right practices which are no longer mainstream which are no longer acceptable right the author here is trying to use that as the meaning did you get it did everybody get this one okay any other thing the passage was relatively simple so i'm going to give you the answers and if any particular question needs to be discussed then we'll do that so 12th is b 13th is b 14th is c and 15th is a according to the key what is the primary purpose of the passage okay it discusses about swami vikanan's view on woman empowerment right 13th why does the author mention hadn't he seen his sister commit suicide? Okay, correct. It provided him insights about the general condition of women. What is the risk for women producing mindless westernization? They lose their purity. Yes. In the context of the passage, born free, he found her everywhere in chains. To Is for what point? Not completely free when most. Okay, that's it. Now, 13th, mein, why not D number? Okay, 13th question kya hai? What, why does the author mention, hadn't he seen his sister commit suicide? Right. Now, D, he raised his voice against obscurantism and tyranny. No, he is not saying his sister committed suicide just because he wants to raise his voice. Right. In fact, when his sister committed suicide, that gave him an idea about, see, just before the point where he says his sister committed suicide, right? He says that just before that, he says education held the key, right? The self-confidence exuded by the American woman made him realize that. So this is, then he gives the example. So his sister committing the suicide actually gives him insight into what can free women. And hence in 13, D is not the answer because the, D is a very generic one. D is a very generic one. But this particular example is because it is giving him better understanding of what the problem is and what the solution can be. So for 13, D cannot be my answer. Okay? Do you get that number? 13th May. Right. Now, Duja, why not A in 12th? Uh, 12th kya hai? What is the primary purpose of the passage? Now, is it just to give Swami Vivekan's views on empowerment as a panacea. Panacea means cure all. Is it just saying that, is the, is the passage just saying that Vivekan believed that women's empowerment will solve everything? Or does the passage also talk about the problems that Vivekan knows exists in women's empowerment? Priyanshi, Duja, is the passage saying that Vivekanan believes it will cure everything or does he also talk about problems? It does talk about problems. So A cannot be the answer, right? He's not saying that women's empowerment is the cure for all the evils. 
rather he is giving all his views both the pros and the cons right once he's in fact at one point he says if it is at the cost of purity then i don't want it to take place so it is his views today even that particular view of his may seem as toxic masculinity right today even this view even vivekanand's views if true would be seen as a masculine point of view right purity of women even that is unacceptable by today's standards but overall it is just his views that are being talked about so not a do you get that a is not the answer there okay 15th one now born free he found her everywhere in chains right the author is saying padaishi nobody is a slave right a human being is born free but as she grows she is in chains because he's talking about women right so what is it about by birth all women are free but even in affluent in rich in advanced societies she is not free right he found her everywhere in chains ka matlab hai even is in backward societies she is definitely not free but even in the so called forward society she is not that's what this point says so why can't it be c c says women are subject to misuse where in the entire passage are we talking about a misuse right chains ka matlab kya hota hai chains only is a metaphor for freedom it's not a metaphor for to be in chains means bandhi hona you don't have independence so that metaphor is only referring to freedom not misuse right chal so in this passage uh it could have taken let us say about some 5 minutes to read understand and mark the questions you could have got at least two out of the four questions right right chal so not a difficult passage at least to understand easy chalo 16 to 19 one more passage now fear is a movement it is not static it is a movement and it is the aggregate of many other factors aggregate begins summation bringing together of all the other factors of the movements that bring about fear and we are going to examine together please together the movements which are comparison desire for security we are going to go into all this desire for security authority desire time thoughts these are all the various movements of fear and we are asking whether a man can ever be free of fear at all because fear is no law we are asking whether man can ever be free of this terrible burden one may not be conscious of it it may be lurking in the deep unconsciousness in the deep recesses of one's own brain most people go through the fear and agony of fear and from that agony there are great many sorrowful actions neurotic actions unethical actions immoral actions we are always comparing ourselves with somebody else we start this in school better marks and so on right through college university this sense of constant comparison have you ever tried not to compare at all that is of course you have to compare between two cars between two material if you are choosing furniture you have to compare but when you compare psychologically then there is always a root of fear in it the root of fear is there i compare myself with you you are very clever very intelligent bright alive aware sensitive and through comparison i say i am not i am dull compared to you if i do not compare myself with you what happens to me am i dull or i am what i am and from there i start to find out but if i'm all the time comparing with you who are bright nice looking then i'm running away from myself trying to imitate trying to conform to the pattern you have set you are all you are following all this so it is possible to live inwardly psychologically psychically without any sense of comparison which maintains fear you are something great i want to be like you and i'm not like you i begin to get depressed all the other factors enter into it so please discover for yourself if you can live without any comparison whatsoever inwardly of course not outwardly because you are taller i am shorter or different color but inwardly to have no comparison which doesn't mean that you are vain that you are arrogant but if i am comparing myself with you i can never discover what i am i am always conforming to what you think i am hey bhagwan kya passage tha right the idea is not difficult to understand but reading the passage itself is painful because the author is very rambling rambling means ek hi cheez ko kafi baar repeat kar kar ke kar kar ke kar kar ke bol raha hai right the style of writing this is called a rambling style of writing 
right the author is just writing down whatever he is thinking aloud so it is not as if he is writing for a proper audience wo sab apne dimag mein kuch soch raha hai aur jo dimag mein aaya wo likh diya so it's very difficult this is actually somebody's thoughts it it is not a proper prose these are somebody's thoughts which are just written down so overall the message is clear don't compare yourself fear is because of comparison but let's take a look at the questions chalo 16th what is the nature of fear according to the passage okay basically one may not be aware of one's hidden fears for all the options see it leads to comparison yes it leads to intense desire for security maybe it is a dreadful thing impossible to get rid of definitely not right fear doesn't lead to comparison in fact comparison with others leads to fear right so a although you might be tempted to mark a technically a is not the answer because fear does not lead to comparison comparison leads to fear you have to get that portion right so 16th is a uh, so sorry 16th is d 17th what can be inferred about the habit of comparing ourselves with others okay it strikes root in the school years yes bachpan mein aata hai that is mentioned in the passage it discourages neck to neck comparison not at all it makes a person bright no it makes a person introspective and truth seeking no it strikes root in the school year 17th is definitely a right in 16th it leads to an intense desire for security not exactly the nature of fear what the see nature of fear mein they are not asking ke what happens because of fear right fear leads to the intense desire that is the outcome of fear it is not the description of fear in 16th if you mark b b is actually the result of fear right sorry b is the result of fear it leads to the desire for security but here they are asking what is the nature of fear how do you describe fear so we may not even be aware of it the nature of fear is this do you get it shubham okay 17th is pretty simple 18th what is the purpose of the passage to discuss one of the movements of fear theek hai 18th is c right 16th is d 17th is a 18th is c uske baad 19th on the basis of information what does the habit of endless comparison lead to one tries to change oneself according to the thinking of the others yes 19th is a in 18th why not a v what is the primary purpose of the passage the primary purpose is not to discuss the factors starting mein dekho he is repeating the word again and again movements 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 if you read the passage you cannot avoid his mention of the word movements which is clearly what the author is intending in first one third of the passage he is repeatedly saying the same thing right so that is what is on his mind the author wants to call it movements in 19th why not b one becomes endless comparison say what happens one becomes more insightful and inward looking no b is a very positive thing shubham in fact in the passage don't we understand by the time we reach the end that we should not make such comparisons if by comparison one becomes insightful and inward look insightful means you understand more things in a better manner which is actually showing it to be a positive thing but that is not what the author is saying so how can that be my answer the author is against comparisons right so 19th may b cannot be my answer this was a tough passage would have taken time in fact reading half the passage i might be tempted to even not attempt it till the end so i'm not going to give much score maybe one or two you could have got if at all you have attempted it even if you have left it i would say good choice right you need not have attempted the full passage also that's okay okay 20 to 22 in each question number of sentences jumbled passages basically okay jumbled passages 20 21 and 22 so op- answers are a c and d so 
the other houses of the street gazed at one another with brown impertable faces an uninhabitable house of two stories stood at the blind and detached from its neighbors in a square head then north major street being blind was a quiet street except at the hour when christian brothers set the boys free conscious okay so d se start karna is a good option right then uh, set the boys free an uninhabited house of two stories stood at a blind and detached from its neighbors in a square ground the conscious of decent life who is conscious of decent lives living within them the other houses were conscious of decent lives living within them right so again b is not my answer a definitely has to be man i'm coming to 22 one by one 20th it's definitely a did we get that 20th it's definitely a okay 20th is definitely a then 21st and sharpened by the progressiveness of distant neighbors distant latin neighbors in the very olden time there lived a semi barbaric king okay b were still large as became he was c op b is definitely a starter sentence right and only one option starts with b so then it's a matter of just checking whether b a c d e makes sense in the very olden times there lived a semi barbaric king whose ideas though somewhat polished and sharpened by the progressiveness of distant latin neighbors were still large florid and untrammeled as become the half of him which was barbaric he was a man of blah 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 right i don't even need to read the entire thing 21st definitely has to be b no doubts in that uh, has to be c because b is the only starting sentence now coming to the 22nd one coming to the 22nd one after 6 months true acupuncture was about 33% more effective than the sham treatment okay maybe they should try acupuncture who should try acupuncture millions of arthritis sufferers are still searching for pain relief okay those who had real acupuncture had 40% in pain and 40% improvement blah 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 in a multi cell doctor found with uh, you know, so first it starts with a general sentence that millions of arthritis sufferers are still searching for pain relief right then we go with what maybe they should try acupuncture right because acupuncture is introduced here that you should try acupuncture why should i try acupuncture because in a multi center trial doctors found 570 people 570 it introduces the number of people here blah 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 right and then it talks about some of them had real some of them had fake and then it talks about a statistic 40 40% and then after 6 months the final effect has been decided so definitely c b e a d right c b e a d makes sense because it starts with arthritis sufferers right and then it describes acupuncture in all the other four sentences so c is separate from b e a d right c is separate from b e a d you first talk about arthritis then you talk about one possible cure for it then you talk about why you are recommending the cure that there is an experiment with 570 people in the 570 people 40% is 40% that and 6 months after the experiment what was the outcome that's a logical sequence which is not followed in c priyanshi man do you understand sequence is important and hence c is not the answer in c c b e are the same but d a you first don't say 40% result 40% that and uske pe they first you immediately describe the experiment result and after 6 months the follow up result is described so because of the time sequence chronology up in amit shah's language aap chronology ko samjhiye <laughs> right this is called chronology the sequence in which events take place they play a, uh, they, they are very important when answering such questions theek hai chalo so you easily could have got two out of three here right all three also possible but definitely two out of three minimum you should have got in this particular case chalo
moving ahead simple ones 23 to 27 fill in the blanks 23 to 27 fill in the blanks should not take much time let's see the answers to them so 23 during the rainy season this stream was overflown is generally not a word this stream was overflowed this stream was overflowing overflow right between b and c this stream was overflowing may seem like a decent answer Duja, which one Ek second which one in 23 Ek second Duja, your doubt is in question number what 22 uh, 22 may Sorry, EDA I was mentioning. Yeah, EDA I was mentioning. Hmm. See, doctors found 570 people. Then. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was not reading the question carefully. Right. The sequence after six months. True puncture was 33% more effective than the sham treatment. How was it effective? 40% decrease in pain, 40% improvement function. Duja, you caught me there. Right? The sequence is E A D. Sorry. Even according to time, this 40% I mistook it as uh, 570. Sorry. Yeah, E A D. E A D. D. D for Delhi. D for Delhi. Deja. Yeah, caught me there. So, thanks for that. Got it right? Okay. Okay. Now, during rainy season, this stream was overflown and overflow to nahi. Uh, Can I say was overflowed? Is that grammatically correct? Was the, this stream overflowed agar main bolta. This stream overflowed. Was ke bagair, I can say that is correct. Right. In 23rd one. But when the word was is there, then was overflowed is not right. During rainy season, this stream overflowed. That would have been correct. But during rainy season, the stream was ke saath overflowing hi aana chahiye. So, overflowing, definitely my answer right b cannot be my answer because was ke saath overflowed ed nahi aata hai it is nothing else dash sheer madness but this is the idiomatic usage it is nothing else but sheer madness but sheer madness but here is used in the sense of except 25th, I rarely go to meet dash across the road. Anybody across the road. Definitely. I rarely go to meet anybody across the road. Then 26th. The laborers are clamoring dash the negligence of police. Are clamoring by, clamoring from, clamoring against the negligence of the police. Right? The laborers are clamoring against the negligence of the police. Basically a form of protest. And wandering in the street, a dog bitten him. Nah, a dog bites him. Bitten, nah. He was bitten by dog. Although by a dog or birth, the dog would have been better. But again, 27th May, definitely A. 27th May, definitely A. Right? Okay, 28 to 30 analogies. When you have an itch to solve an itch, you scratch it. So when something is broken to repair, you solve it, you repair it. 
an itch is solved by scratch so is something broken is solved by a repair so 28th answer is definitely b 29th lacuna is a hole or a void lacune is the plural it's singular versus plural so addendum is singular addenda is plural so this is just singular and plural so 29th is definitely c and 30th a dentist is a person who takes care of teeth so a pediatrician is a person who takes care of a child's illnesses so 30th is definitely d easy right very easily you could have got this in fact you could have got all three but i'm assuming you will get minimum two right analogies was not at all difficult very easy okay uh sentence correction okay 85 members have been dismissed and 45 have ke sath had nahi aa sakta left and left nahi hai so for 85 members have left on their own so 31 is definitely b 32 32 intelligence as well as overall knowledge knowledge singular is required if you want to crack i am indoor at paper okay so is required r wala to galat hai overall knowledge is required if you want to crack what is the difference between a and c overall knowledge is required if you want to crack i am indoor at paper a and c same option hai ए एन सी सेम ऑप्शन है और इज इट इज इट द सेम एक्सेप्ट फॉर अ कैपिटल के हियर या दिस इज अ स्मॉल के एंड दिस इज अ कैपिटल के अनलेस अ प्रॉपर नाउन कैपिटल के नहीं आएगा सो ए इज अ बेटर ऑप्शन हियर जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ दैट कैपिटलाइजेशन अनलेस इट इज द फर्स्ट लेट वर्ड इन देंटेंस नॉलेज इज अ कॉमन वर्ड राइट इट के नॉट हैव कैपिटलाइजेशन you get it priyanshi bija they are not the same this very minor thing in c k is capital and capital k cannot be there yes namra that is if you want to get into an iim you have to be this precise under pressure yes harshit that's why none of them is the right answer a is the right answer harshit and that is why a is there eight a has a small k and is the right answer chalo 33 each of the students in the class have been warned by the teacher now each of the students each is generally taken as singular to so have nahi aayega na each of the students in the class has been warned each has been warned each is used as singular so have been warned nahi aayega each of the student in the class has been warned each of the student nahi aayega because plural hai each of the student in the class has warned nahi each of the students in the class has been warned okay so 33 d has to be my answer 33 mein d is the answer each of the student student agar singular hai to each of the student kaise bol sakte ho ek se zyada student hai to hi each word use ho sakta hai to each of the students each of the student nahi ho sakta each cannot be used if there is only one student it has to be students and 34 the guest came more in number than was expected the guest came more in number than were expected but spelling dekho than were expects nahi aayega ye than were expected nahi aayega than they were expecting nahi aayega it's actually none of these than were expected agar hota that would have been a good answer because it is not there d is the answer the guest come more in number than in fact where bhi nahi aayega if i say the guest come more in number than are expected agar come ko mujhe aise hi rakhna hai to rather it should be are single uh, this than they were expecting the guest come sing uh, this is uh, present tense were expecting ye past continuous ho gaya the guest come more in number than are expected 
if we eliminate was the guest come more in number than expected yes that is also right namra the guest come more in number than expected agar likhoge to bhi chalega in short none of the given options are true corrections can be multiple but it is not any of the given options right okay now 35 to 40 typical type of question in the following questions a word has been used in four different ways in the options given now in that identify one which is inappropriate right you have to identify one which is wrong they have been correctly used in some one of them is used wrongly so i have to identify the incorrect one the child was amazed by seeing his own shadow okay after listening the news of his grandfather's demise rohan's face immediately got shadowed with sorrow okay both the countries are trying for shadow asia trying for shadow asia trying to right are shadow asia ka matlab kya hai ek to yahan pe for nahi aana chahiye priya wore a glittering shadow on her eyes mm, eye shadow hota hai so c 35th definitely c if it is not mentioned can punctuation be marked as wrong well if punctuation is the only error then yes and usually punctuation error will be in the apostrophe wala right full stop comma generally they try to avoid because printing mein mistake ho jata hai kabhi kabhi right but if there is nothing else and there is no other option which is making sense then yes if it is not mentioned even punctuation can be checked now in option c even if i put to to shadow asia both the countries are trying to shadow asia okay maybe shadow means to follow when i'm trying to shadow somebody i'm trying to follow in that sense okay so if for was replaced by to then maybe it is okay but definitely the usage is incorrect so 35 definitely c is my answer right brittle brittle means something which can be easily broken okay the doctor said that the child should get message message ni massage with olive oil regularly as his bones are brittle chalo brittle to sahi used hai although message ki jagah massage hona chahiye i can deal in office with her as she brittle in nature as she is brittle in nature hona chahiye right yahan pe is missing hai brittle nuts in that bakery is very famous nuts plural ye r hona chahiye at this brittle of life you must be wary of strangers chalo brittle nuts agar ek brand hai to is bhi chalega because n capital hai to theek hai chalo ye bhi chalega but at this brittle of life there is no such thing it doesn't make any sense brittle of life ka matlab kya hota hai chalo so b and c mein to chhota mota error hai but 36 mein d because brittle of life is absolutely meaningless yes number that's what i said brittle nuts mein b and n dono hi capital hai so that's why i'm letting it go right if nuts was small then plural but nuts capital mein so i'm assuming it's a brand name they're taking as singular and d is definitely a bigger mistake so d is 100% my answer 36 is definitely d okay moving on mary the mary of my sister is not to be questioned ha huh? mary of my sister kya hota hai in yesterday's party divyanshu got a bit merry and started dancing correct in the event of christmas they sang a short merry song right merry laughter of children correct a is definitely my answer 37th mein merry of my sister ka matlab hi nahi hota hai jolt yani jhatka okay the bus stopped suddenly and the passengers were jolted forward correct the news of kaushik illness jolted sheena into action correct don't try to jolt at someone no you jolt someone ye at galat hai You don't jolt at somebody. You just jolt somebody. So definitely, thirty eighth me sees my answer. Thirty ninth to blend means to mix. If you want to bake a birthday cake for your son, then just blend flour egg butter. Ye to sahi hai. The Rashtrapati Patiwan is a rich blend of Mughal and classical European style. This is also right. If you want pink color, then just blend purple and yellow in equal proportions. Logically wrong, but grammatically correct. Blend a little and you will get your ring. Huh? blend a little and you will get your ring this sentence doesn't make any sense so 39 definitely d 
थर्टी एट में वाई नॉट डी थर्टी एट में अ जोल्ट ऑफ विस्की वॉज टेकन बाई हिम इन द पार्टी जोल्ट ऑफ विस्की स्प्लैश ऑफ विस्की पेग ऑफ विस्की इन स्लैंग मन अ जोल्ट ऑफ विस्की पेग ऑफ विस्की स्प्लैश ऑफ विस्की दे डिफरेंट वर्ड पेग इज नॉट द ओनली वर्ड टू डिस्क्राइब अ ड्रिंक यू कैन ऑल्सो हैव अ स्प्लैश यू कैन हैव अ जोल्ट ऑफ समथिंग राइट चलो थर्टी नाइन्थ में तो डी डेफिनेटली डज नॉट मेक एनी सेंस और डी इज माई आंसर एंड फोर्टी एथ वेन समबडी इज टू सेल्फ अ कंसिटेड एरोगेंट सो फोर्टी एथ आई गॉट इरिटेटेड बाई लिस्निंग दे आर वेन टॉक्स वेन टॉक्स एग्जिस्ट शी वैज वेन क्लोथ्स विच डू नॉट सोट वेन क्लोथ्स क्या होता है दो मलाया वर्क थर्ड बट एट द एंड इट रिजल्टेड इन वेन यू शुड नॉट टेक योर ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स नेम इन वेन ओके यू डोंट वेयर वेन क्लोथ्स वेन इज नॉट अ वर्ड यूज टू डिस्क्राइब and a cloth it is used to describe the quality of a person clothes cannot be vain human beings are so definitely 40th may b is my answer 40th may definitely b is my answer so did you get this guys so let's take a look at what score we could have got Uh, 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 at least 24 to 25 if you had got correct right and you could have easily solved it in 1 2 3 4 10 20 7 2 29 minutes minutes in about 27 to 29 minutes, you could have got at least 24 or 25 right if you had got few of them wrong right let's assume that you attempted all of them right so in case you get a score let's say you get score of 24 and remaining 16 are wrong so 16 divided by 4 is 20 that means you could have managed 80 marks out of 120 in this out of 160 sorry that is exactly 50% and believe me you easily could have got more but this is the bare minimum right now namra the biggest mistake in ipm is saying thinking that overall score matters no overall score also matters and you need to get a minimum score of cut off in english and maths both i have seen many students who got a very high overall score but because one of the section scores was low they were not selected so ipm is one of the papers where it is not only important that your overall score is high but you are also required to get a minimum score in every section in both the sections in this case so you cannot compensate for one section by scoring very high in the other you have to score high plus you will have to clear the cut off of both the sections and the biggest problem is that students they focus so much on maths during preparation that although english is very easy many of them fail to clear the cut off simply because they have not practiced enough and guys english as you would have seen is exactly the same right in general whatever english we have been doing in weekdays evening classes this is exactly the same level and a lot is on vocabulary and meanings and stuff right so please focus a lot on english we have done a lot of english in our regular classes you have tons of material right ipm english is no different from regular ones but you need to score in this section because ipm indoor requires cut off now nirma does not require a cut off nirma only looks at the overall score right so in nirma ipm in the ipm paper if you don't have individual cut offs but your overall score is high that is enough for nirma but for i am indoor you will need sections you will need both the sections theek hai i hope that answers everybody's questions so guys we are done for today in case there are any doubts you can hang around and ask if there are no doubts then we are done you may exit the session have a good day and stay safe